everybody, I am Moldy West. I almost forgot to do my the thing that I do with my head, just like I forgot my timer. There we go. Shut up, Jester. This is Overlord once again. And we are getting very close to the end of the game. Also, I got myself a new webcam, so if my face cam actually looks better than it did in the last episode, that's why. Huh? Anywho, we're at, heading to the Ruborian Desert. That's where we's going. That's right, wipe the sand out of your face hole, mister. Your master is here. Now, let's Watch go. Watch the sand. It gets in all your crevices. Yeah, so I know. must have a hideout around here. So we're off to find Juno and her hideout. And then... Well, that's just it. We're gonna go find Jewel in her hideout and see what all we can do there. She's a master thief who's bound to have lots of things worth stealing. So all I gotta do is persuade her to share some of her riches. And of course, by persuade, I mean viciously pound her into the ground with my flaming sword of death and dismemberment until she hands it over. Now then, get this big old pile of bones. Uh, I wish my old bones were as tough as these, sire. Uh huh. You'll need something with a little more kick to break through them. Good to know. So I'm assuming I'm going to need a bomb. That sounds very likely. Find me some splody doos to take care of them bones. And I also remember that there are certain enemies in this area that actually need bombs to be defeated. That much I do remember. I'm not gonna spoil exactly what they are. You're just gonna have to wait until we come across them. They're around here somewheres. Not like immediately on top of us or anything, but they live out here in the desert, that much I will tell you. Now, if I could just figure out exactly which way is progress, Beware that way then. No doubt that guard will alert his friends. That is, if he makes it there. I guess he's gonna make it there, since I was unable to incinerate him in time. Well, get him, my minions. That guy is not worthy of my blade. He's up there throwing shit like a coward, so he gets battered and bruised by minions the old-fashioned way. So now then, we just wander around the desert. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you if my voice sounds a little weird or if I start sneezing or coughing, I got me one of them summer colds. It happens. I'll be fine. It ain't the first one I had, and it's not likely to be the last one either. I noticed it this morning when I was sitting there editing the second batch of Pokemon Nuzlocke episodes. And I guess my minions can't squeeze through that hole in the bone to get that treasure chest. Never mind, I'll just come over here myself. Grab the gold that your master cannot reach. Like a good bunch of goblins. Uh-oh, here we go with that enemy I mentioned. There it is. Big ol' sand. These are extremely tough, dark one. Avoidance is the best tactic. Yeah. The long motion on the sand seems to agitate them. Yeah, I know. And that line of dialogue right there had me thinking that if I just walk out onto the sand and stop moving for a moment, then they would lose track of me. But that is not the case. You step out into the stand and stop moving, and you are a sitting duck. They do know you're there, even if you ain't moving. So, one minion go over there and distract that thing. I didn't really want you going that far. 
Okay, it's right there. I wanted it to not show up that close to me. So, best thing to do is just fucking book it. Run across the sand, my minions. It cannot get us if we are not in the sand. The thing about this area in the past is that I was thinking a little too strategically. Plaster box. Mm -hmm. Careful, Master. They're powerful. The clues in the name. So, explosive bugs. Take care of that, shall we? All right, back off, the minions. Yeah, now. All right. Oh, no. Well, there's a few boys that got blasted out of existence. I was hoping to avoid that, but there ain't much we can do for it at the time. The minions are just so goddamn stupid that it's like they want to be blown up. And this little bug larva. There you go. Come and get it, big boy. And that is the way we deal with the sand. Make sure you keep your minions away from the blast ring. What do you think I'm doing, Gnarl? Blues. There is a blue one that was completely obliterated, so we we'll replace oh. him. Not sure what the other missing minion type was, but we'll figure that out when we come across more gates. Find another minion gate of the appropriate color, and then we will get to replacing the one that got exploded. Yeah, but for now, we'll just arm the minions that I do have. Get them all well equipped. And, yeah, here we go. I just need to remove that bone barricade. And then we'll have a clear path. Why? I did not want you attacking the bug just yet! You fucking idiots! I'm fucking over here in the process of trying to lead it over here, and they're like, ooh, let's oh, kill the thing that we're trying to lure. And then, ego boom. Now somebody revive that guy and get away from the blast zone. There we go! Now this time, minions, don't do anything stupid! We are going to lead this boy out into the sand. There we go. Return to me, red one. Don't you die on me. You done with died just like I told you not to do. But anyway, there's a sandworm. It got a boy in its mouth. My nose is so blood. Splendid, sire. Evil yes, it is. Another mouthful like that, and there'll be nothing but pretty sand patterns. Yeah, so it takes more than just one blast to deal with that worm, apparently. Well, let's go ahead and lure another bug. Come on, buggy. Big old buggy boy. Come and get the thingy. Don't get too close now, minion. All right. You're all alive and well. This thing's about to go boom now. And there we go. Dead ass sandworm. That problem's taken care of. And he doesn't seem to drop any life force. That's fine. I can deal with it. I didn't need any more life force to replace the dead minions. I'll just go pull the ones I already got out of the goddamn minion gates. As soon as I drop this thing off. We may have killed one sandworm, but I don't believe it was the only one there is. There's bound to be more. Yep, more indeed. Them Trevors tells me that. So we ain't going that way just yet, not until we have a way of luring blaster bugs that far out. 
I'm not sure if the ones that I can lure right now are able to go that far. There's, I will try it, however. I will try to lure one of them bugs. And there we go. Come on, buggy boy. What are you waiting for? Hello? There you are. Now, come on. Follow the minion. He knows exactly where to go. And we want to go this way. That's where we'll find another sandworm. All right. Retreat. And okay. He actually can go that far out. You go ahead and punch that bug. And then we'll bring another one down. He needs a second course. Then the way will be clear, and then we'll be able to encounter yet another of them big-ass sandworms even further out. One that we won't be able to reach with a blaster bug. There he goes. Hurry up and blast yourself out of existence. That's better. One less sandworm. Now I can move around this area to an extent. The more worms that are dead, the better. That means there's less of them alive to munch my ass. They can't eat my ass. Only I can eat my ass. It belongs to me after all. And I've been saving it for a very special occasion and I'll be damned if I let some overgrown worm go taking a chunk of this national treasure that is attached to the lower part of the back of my body i will not allow it and i think that worm was just guarding a stockpile of gold and there's another one yeah there is another one i wonder now can i actually leave that bug far enough out to deal with the third one Lo and behold, worm problem solved. Now hurry up with that boom. There you go. Fire spews forth from your mouth and you sink down below the dunes where you will rot and wither away like the pathetic worm you are. Yay! Now then... We are free to loot and pillage to our heart's content. Just guarding a stockpile of gold, but damn it, I happen to like gold. Whoever doesn't like gold is just not a greedy person, and I am a very greedy bastard. That much I can assure you of. Of course, if you were watching this series, you would remember the time where I sacrificed the entire elven race for a nice handful of coins. That is what I did. That is a thing I did because it was evil. And I like being evil. And yeah, there's nothing over here other than a stockpile of gold guarded by a few big old worry worms. Now that that's been taken care of, it's time to progress through the desert. Come and get your little baby! There you go. What, is that one over here not gonna go after the big old baby bug just shoved all up in the corner like that? Some parent you are. You're supposed to be trying to save your children, not sit there and let someone else take care of it. Lazy fuck. You and you, over there. You two stay here. Hmm. Why fight when you can pay others to do it for you? Everyone has a price. Well, most people have Girls a price. These days. No glamour. No boys. It's so sad. Yep. And soon she is going to be dead. Why in the hell was one of my minions over here on his own getting killed? God damn stupid ass minions. Do not set that bug off. We need that bug to clear the way forward. And then we could probably use another bug 
to deal with some of those guys down there. It's like Jewel said, why fight when you can have someone else do it for you? In this case, we're doing with... We're having bugs do it for me. There we go, buggy boy. Take care of that for me. Well, certainly softened him up and did. Don't let him get away. All right. Now then. Oh, we got more guys showing up. Incinerate them. Revive the dead. And this little straggler went wee 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 all the way to hell. And you're dead. All right. No more of them. So now this area's safe. And, uh oh, it just led right back to the gate. How nice that is. We got that way open and we got another way to open. It loops back around on itself. Now that's what I call level design. Somebody grab that bug and lead the big boy to its destination. Why are you coming after me and not the one holding your baby? That's better. I went past the thing. And there we go. Now that you're in place, you go boom. Don't attack it, it's about to explode. That's better. Somebody grab its head. Use it for equipment. There we go. I have a suggestion, sire. When you find a jewel, don't kill it. What? Hmm. That little flibberty gibbet knows much of these lands. Capture her. And I think I can persuade her to be a little more talkative. I like the sound of that. So capture Jewel. And let me guess. Sandworms? Yep, sandworms. Perhaps we could deal with those. Assuming the bug will follow out that far. There is a limit to how far these things can go. And I don't know if I... I don't know if that is beyond the limit or not. But it's worth a try, at least. It is very much worth a try. Go on, buggy boy. Okay, I lost a minion because I didn't realize it was about to pop out. But that's okay, I've got plenty of them. There we go, this ought to take care of you. Let's just watch the fireworks. It is the 4th of July after all. Or at least that's the day I'm recording this anyway. There we go. Worm go boom. That's taken care of. And I don't know if that's the only worm in this area or not. You must keep moving. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. There might be more worms in this area. Or maybe that was the only one in this little patch of sand. Either way, we'll find out if there's more worms or not in the next episode, because I'm all out of time for this one, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching, and see you in the next one. Goodbye!